This video is going to walk you through the process to sync your OneDrive, that's your personal Microsoft OneDrive account, to your computer so you can have easy access to those files. And in turn, it will make it easier for you to be able to transfer files from that personal Microsoft account into the OneDrive for Business, which is now part of our Office 365. So the first thing we need to do is go to OneDrive.com. This is a personal account. It started off as a district account, then Microsoft split the accounts and designated this as your personal OneDrive. So I'm going to go ahead and click Sign In, and I'm going to sign in. Notice it is with my school email address because that's how it got set up. If you have forgotten your password, you need to click the Can't Access Your Account and go through that process. When Microsoft divided their system so that OneDrive is a personal account, our district lost all ability to troubleshoot accounts, to reset passwords, to access passwords, or anything like that. So unfortunately, if you have forgotten your password and you didn't enter in security questions or an alternate email address or anything like that in that account, there's absolutely nothing we can do to help you get in. So hopefully you're able to get in. So once you have accessed your personal OneDrive account, you're going to scroll down to the bottom on the left and choose Get OneDrive Apps. Now you can always just simply sign in to OneDrive.com just like we've done, access your files, download files, upload files, save anything. Remember this is your personal account so you can put anything in it. But what we're going to do is sync it to our computer. So I scroll all the way to the bottom on the left and select Get OneDrive Apps. It opens a new tab, looks like this. The first thing I need to do on this page is choose the device. So I'm going to click the plus symbol, and you'll notice there are several options, but we're going to select PC Mac because, of course, we are installing this on our laptops. If you install it on another device, select the appropriate device. I scroll down a little bit further. I see I have OneDrive and OneDrive for Business. OneDrive for Business is part of your 365 account and you already have this app installed on your teacher laptop. So don't worry about that. We're going to select this download OneDrive for Windows that falls under Windows 7 because that's what we're using. Then depending on the browser you're using, you need to tell it to run. So if, if you have Chrome, it's going to come up in a, in a different window. If you have Firefox, it is. I'm in Internet Explorer, so down here at the bottom, I'm going to select Run. As soon as you've done that, you'll walk through all of the steps to set up that sync. And then when you have finished it, I'll open Windows Explorer down here. This is just a folder on my computer. You will then see in this list of favorite locations, you will see a link for OneDrive. Once all of the files sync, and you'll know that they've synced because they have the green check next to them, you will notice that when I open a folder, I have all of my files inside. This is the exact same folder structure and files and everything that I had up on the web. It's just a saved local copy to my machine. It also makes it so much easier to save things into this folder, to open things from this folder, because now I have this option right here listed in my favorites. Now, you also have the OneDrive for Business app. So I'm going to show you how you can move files from one to the other. So I have my OneDrive and I'm going to use one of my Windows 7 tricks. I'm going to click on this window and drag it over until my cursor touches the side. So here they all are on the right hand side of my screen. And then I'm going to open another Windows Explorer window. This time I'm going to open my OneDrive for Business. And this time I'll use another shortcut and I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of dragging it, I'm going to hit the Windows key and the left arrow, and that takes that window and pops it over to the left side of my screen. So just so we're clear, I'm not on the web right now. I have opened Windows Explorer folders on my computer. So these are files on my computer. This one is my old personal OneDrive. This one is my OneDrive for Business that's associated with my 365 account. If I wanted to drag a folder over, all I do is grab this IT plan folder, drag it over, I'm going to drop it, notice it says it's moving it into OneDrive for Business, I let go, it's syncing up right now, 
And as soon as this sinks, you can see there's a little blue arrow, like circle made with blue arrows. It's in the process of sinking right now. I can go to my Office 365 account, click on OneDrive at the top, and when I scroll down, you can see that here is my folder, and it was uploaded just about a minute ago. So that's how you can download the OneDrive app and then you can sync your files, and then you can easily manipulate them on your computer rather than having to go to the website and download them and re-upload them into the other system.